Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming series. So in this video I decided we're going to be learning how to use align and margins. And also, um, Delphi 10.1 Berlin Starter Edition is currently free. I will leave the link in the description. So go get the Starter Edition. It's free and it's really worth it to go get it. So yes, I'm sitting at my school and the wind's a bit heavier. So let's start. Create new project. VCL forms. So line and margins are used to basically position and resize components on the form. Let's save this project. Ah, uh, oops, wrong one. Okay. This is video 45. Fine. Let's call this a line and margins. There was a request by Tim, one of, one of um, my friends from Facebook, he said I should talk a bit um, slower, so I'll try and talk a bit slower, as I'm not native English, so, yes. Also, the sun's a bit boring, let's turn on the brightness, okay. So, we'll call this form FRM Home, and caption, just have it as 45, a line, oops, align and margins okay so let's start adding some panels to the form let's add panel another panel oops that be okay this panel 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 uh, let's add five panels okay the form so go to panel one align uh, let's say top Panel 2, bottom, panel 3, left, this one is right, and this one is center. So as you guys can see, um, the alignment is basically just aligns the component to a certain type. Um, the AL client, which is basically the rest of the space available, will keep resizing. But the other panels will stay the same, just at the top, the left, the right, or the bottom of it. And you can still change it, and the client panel will um, adjust itself to the correct width or height. You can also add more components, like let's add, for instance, a button. You can align this button to bottom, for instance, and plenty more. Okay, so let's now see what else we can do. We can also line stuff within um, a panel of things that add a, an edit component. Let's align it to top. As you can see. Let's actually just this level. Okay, let's line it to left. Let's make this one like this. Let's just add a bunch of speed buttons in it. You can align all of the speed buttons to the top. Uh, let's change the height a bit. Make it 40. Okay, 40 is a bit big. Now let's leave it 40. Let's quickly compile, which is F9 or the green arrows here. Okay. And as you can see, like it follows. It's nice. It sizes nicely. Okay, so now to learn about margins. So let's do the edit first. Margins basically, okay, first go and click enable the align with margins here. As you can see, it's already like, see the difference in the edit component. You guys see it. Then go to the margins property and expand margins. And here you can actually set margins. Like basically, how much from the bottom, from the left, right, or the top it should be. Let's make it five bottom. Let's make five everywhere. That looks like this. Let's make it um, seven. Seven everywhere. And now it will start like that. As you can see, let's do the um, these speed buttons. Uh, line with margins. And uh, let's make it bottom five, five, five and 
and you can see now the speed button is nicely here also and yes that's basically how to work with mo align and margins let's add another button here it's just a label let's move this button to there um, align it to lift actually let's, let's align this one to the right let's add more of those these buttons we have three buttons all aligned to right and then we can align the air to client so I will see it does let's compile it will look more nicely when it is compiled so now you can see there like the edit follows it resizes and the buttons just stay on the right side so yes of course this will happen um, it will um, in the next video I'll teach you guys how to stop this from happening then we can set a minimum and a maximum width or height for the form and yes that's basically how to use a line and margins I would suggest to you guys to play a bit around with it and yeah, just make yourself familiar with it and yes thanks for watching guys please make sure to like comment subscribe and share I'll see you in the next video bye